So right now, whenever you just make a standard website without creating anything yourself, you have a couple things. The first thing is this homepage. And this is just the server's homepage that says, hey, your Django project uh, is working correctly. You didn't, <laughs> you didn't mess up your computer, congratulations. Now there's one other area that it comes with, and that's the admin section. So if you go to this admin section, you're gonna see some errors, and that's just yelling at us because we didn't set up the database yet. But basically, we have this section. So for some reason, Django already knows that whenever we type in admin right here, to send us to this page. How the heck does it know that? Well, here's the thing. Whenever any user requests something from your website, the very first thing that Django is gonna do is it's gonna go in this directory, the very first one we created, and it's gonna look at this file right here. And let me close all the other ones. And actually, let me go ahead and delete that. All right, so in here, what you have is something called URL mappings. So basically, what it does is this part of the URL, it doesn't really matter. This is just the address of your server, just the IP address or domain name. This, whenever I talk about URLs, this is the actual part that matters. So basically, Django is going to ignore this part and look at this part. This is the thing that the user is requesting. So whenever it gets to this file, it's gonna go through, and usually you're gonna have a bunch of different ones in here, like, I don't know, maybe like a couple dozen, and it's gonna go through and it's gonna look for these patterns. Now, these are written in regular expressions, and if you guys don't know what a regular expression is, I'll talk you guys through, um, um, you guys probably should like go online and find a quick tutorial and brush, out, brush up on them a little bit, but I'll talk you guys through them when we write them ourselves. Basically, you're gonna look through whatever pattern matches the user request. So again, what Django did in this example is it looked at the user's request, which was admin, and it went through and it found a pattern that matched. Now, whenever it found one that matched, and it said, okay, I found one. Now this second part of the function is how you want me to respond to that user request. All right, simple enough, not as hard as it looked. So what if we wanted to say, okay, now we want to say whenever the user types in music to do something else. Well, we can probably figure this out. I mean, let's type in URL, R, and then we need the caret. And by the way, whenever I type in R, this means a regular expression. Now, whatever I type in here is the actual expression or test. So a caret just means the beginning. So all of the tests that you write to see what the user is typing in, what kind of thing they're requesting. It's always gonna start with that caret. It's a thing above the six on your keyboard. So what do we wanna handle? We wanna say whenever the, types in, the user types in music in their URL, then what do we wanna do? Wait a second, guys. Before I continue, I'm kinda of thinking of something. I mean, all right. What is this website gonna be? It's gonna be, this huge, humongous, you know, thing that's gonna take over the world is gonna be bigger than Amazon and Google. I mean, you're gonna have people uploading music and videos and software and profiles. And you know what? If we have all of these URLs on our webpage, let's say that we had like, you know, uh, 600 different ones, then this file is gonna get really cluttered now that I think about it. I mean, all of our URLs for the music section, for the video section, for the profile, they're gonna all be cluttered in here. So before I even type anything in here, we need to think ahead and think about the design. Now, this isn't actually just me being optimistic and thinking this program is gonna be the biggest thing ever. This is actually how you should properly set it up. So whatever URLs you want to be involved with the music section, like maybe add a new album, edit your albums, uh, play a song, whatever. You don't wanna just add them in here because this is pretty much the settings for the main overall website. All of the URLs, you wanna stick in here. And that's the cool thing about these apps. All of the information is contained within that app's directory. So that being said, how do we do that? Well, you see how this website has a URLs file? Well, let's go ahead and right click and make a new one 
urls.py in this music app. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna create a list of URLs just for this music section, and then once we have that list, we're just gonna import it right here in one line. So you can actually copy this first line of code and paste it right in there. Now another thing I wanna do is this. You know how I said that most of the time whenever the user requests something, you just wanna give back um, like um, HTML response, a simple view. So what we need to do in this music slash URLs is we actually need to import them those views. So from the current directory, and that just means dot, what we need to do is import views. So again, this dot just means look at the same directory that I'm in, I'm in this one, and look for a Python file or module called views. So we're basically taking this and importing it into our URLs. There we go. Now, after this, actually I'll do that later. But basically in this file, what I'm gonna do is the same thing as this. I'm gonna make a bunch of rules to check what URL the user was requesting. So again, here, let me just code this from blank. So again, everything's just gonna be a regular expression and they start with a carrot and whenever you want to end it you put a dollar sign so later on we're going to be making a bunch of different things like uh i don't know like songs and i don't know like ids and all that stuff maybe delete music whatever but for right now we're just going to put nothing and whenever we do this this is going to be the default home page this means the user went to the section Basically, they went to music, but you see this, they didn't request anything. So this is actually how you set up the index for each individual app or the homepage for each individual app section. So after we make that test, if the user wants that, then what do we want to do? Well, we're actually going to make a view in just a second, and we'll just name it index. And that's usually what you do just to because index is the home page of section and this last thing i'm actually going to explain in i don't know maybe two tutorials we need to give it a name and this is actually optional you don't need to but i'm going to show you guys a really cool trick later on of why you want to and if you guys are confused right now i'll explain everything at the end and it's going to make a whole lot of sense so right now we have all of these patterns but again Whenever the user goes to this, I said that Django is just going to look right here in this file by default. Now, right now, this file, it doesn't know about these extra URLs at all. So how do we let this main URLs file know about our music section? Well, what we need to do is in this website URLs.py is we need to import one more package and that is include. And this is just a package that lets us include other files, which is exactly what we're trying to do. And then we can just copy this because I'm lazy. And we're gonna add another rule. And this rule, instead of admin, it's just music. Now, instead of this, we're just gonna say include music URLs right there all right so what we're saying is whenever the user requests any web page go to this and this is going to tell you how to handle it it already had the default admin handler right there and now we're saying all right whenever the user requests anything that starts with music then how do you handle that well what you need to do is you need to hop over to this file right here and right now we only have one page that we're going to set up to handle and that is the home page of the music section so it's given us a little warning it says hey you told me that whenever the user requests this that i'm supposed to deliver this view all right um yeah that view doesn't exist yet <laughs> so can you go ahead and create it and that's what we'll do right now so actually just go ahead and delete all this so again like i said all of you does is it takes the request and it sends back an HTTP response. So from Django, HTTP, 
And there's a bunch of different responses you can send, but this is the most simple. What we want to do is we want to import HTTP response. And an example of HTTP response would just be some basic HTML code or a basic website, whatever. So whatever you name this right here is the name of your function. So we'll just say, <coughs> sorry, I got black lung index. And you always pass it in request. Request. And we need to return a response. So just a basic HTTP response. And inside here, you can just write any text or HTML code you want. So let me just write like a, I don't know, maybe like a heading one. All right, this is the music uh, homepage. Music app homepage. All right, looking good, mate, looking good. So now let's go ahead and refresh our server. And there you go, look at that. So again, make sure that admin still works getting those bugs still, we'll fix those, fix those in the next tutorial. And now music goes here. Now, one last time, I'm gonna explain exactly how this works. I'm gonna pound it in your brain because if you understand this, then this is probably the most confusing uh, tutorial, then everything else will be a lot easier. So let me just minimize all these. All right, so the user went to your website and they requested music. All right, so no matter what they request, we're always going to hop down and look at this file first. So this is the plain URLs file and it's going to look for those patterns. Did they request admin? Nope. Did they request music? Yes. All right. So what do you want me to do? Well, it says include or hop over to this file. So then it hopped over to this file and it says, okay, now in the music section, what did they request? Well, nothing really. They just requested this section. So it says, all right, well, I guess it'll just have to be handled with this then. So whenever they didn't request anything, I am supposed to go to views over here and look for a function called index right here. Oh, there it is right there. So what I'm supposed to do is I'm supposed to send back some HTTP response. And I forgot to put in my extra H1. And all this says is send back the word, this is a music app homepage in heading one. So that is how we got that. So hopefully is now pounded in your brain. You go there, then there, then there, boom, roasted. So I know that was a lot, but well, that was the hard part. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.